All right, all right, all right. It's Friday, day after Thanksgiving, so it's technically not my Thanksgiving day message, but it still is Thanksgiving season. Uh, I've been doing tips of the day uh, for the last couple of weeks. I've been missing this past week. I've been real busy doing things with family and whatnot and, and working behind the scenes. So my tip of today is going to be a Thanksgiving message, and, and this might uh, help some of you. May not, but at least um, I can share some thoughts that I have. And first and foremost, I want to give a couple of updates. Uh, this coming Monday will be the final five-day challenge of 2023. So we're going to have our last five-day challenge of this year. I have a, a new panelist. We're going to have some that you've seen before and one new panelist. One of my Morehouse brothers will be speaking next week with us. So come out, take full advantage of that. Things are going to be picking up very, very fast in 2024 as we're getting ready for the halving. And speaking of that, the reason I'm sitting here, I'm spending a lot of time in my office, especially between now and the end of the year. I have six brand new courses that I'm going to be launching for ILCA in 2024. So we're getting ready for the Bitcoin halving. We're getting ready for the next bull run that's coming up. This is crunch time for those of you that are in the crypto space and you understand cryptocurrencies this is the time to be paying attention to what's going on uh, and getting involved so this is a time to learn get educated get yourself positioned and start to build and accumulate your portfolio so what better way to get started than the five-day challenge that is free to everybody open to everybody next month Speaking of in 2024, I'm going to kick off the year for January, giving everybody an opportunity to experience everything ILCA has. And we're talking about from our inner circles in the morning, our diamond classes that I do twice a week in the evening, our five-day challenge VIP access, and not to mention more than 190 videos covering 13 different crypto topics that normally is more than $1,500 you're going to be able to have for just one price of $99 for the entire month of January. $99 you get all of that. So get ready and get prepared for that. So what about our Thanksgiving message? You know, this has been a, an interesting Thanksgiving, and the older I get in each Thanksgiving, there's more and more things to be thankful for, and, and, and actually the older I get, it's, a, it's, it's becoming less and less about me and just being more grateful for my family, the people around me, the things that's happening in my orbit. Uh, so I know a lot of people around this time, it can be extremely joyous. It can also be extremely painful. You know, this the each Thanksgiving I have, there's there's more loss happening. I'm getting older now, so we attend more funerals than than weddings, and um, we're being mindful of that and being more appreciative that we've made it through another year, but the job's not finished yet. So I didn't when I started this live, there wasn't any one specific thing I wanted to focus on to. I just wanted to just, just to talk. And whatever comes out of my mouth comes out of my mouth. Uh, and I just want to see where this leads. So one thing about Thanksgiving is being thankful. It's not about, you know, the pilgrims and turkey and all that. It's it's about being thankful for being here, being alive, having what you have. There's a law of the universe that most people don't fully understand. And the reason is because we wake up in the morning and begin our day in our life about accumulating or doing something in that day to advance ourself, whether it's from a financial standpoint, a political standpoint. But it's about advancement, putting one foot in front of the other. And, and we get so wrapped up in that, we lose sight of the present. We lose sight of where we are, of being grateful for what we have. In most cases, as you are on your journey, for whatever your journey might be, your ultimate destination, each day should be putting you closer and closer to that. 
But while you're in that pursuit, know that where you are right now is 10 steps ahead than where you were 10 days ago. And 10 days ago, you would have killed to be in the position you're in right now. Always be mindful of the present. Don't be stuck in the past and don't get lost of the woods of the future. Be mindful in there in the present. I spent today, I was going through a lot of old photos of um, not just me as a kid, but my mom when she was a kid, my grandmothers, my grandmothers and her sisters and my family throughout the last seven, eight decades, I've got photos. And I, the ones that I actually do remember, I remember those times. And looking back on them now, it, I mean, it, I, I wish I could go back, you know, be a kid again. <laughs> the good old days, you know, I, I saw one picture when I was a kid where we used to have neighborhood um, block parties. And there was one for the 4th of July. We had a huge cookout. And all the kids and the parents, we were all outside. We lived on a cul-de-sac in Rialto, California. And I just remember how much fun those days were. And But if when I put myself back then, I remember not really being in the present, but I couldn't wait for next week. I couldn't wait for next month. I couldn't wait for next year. And kind of missing the joy of the moment. And that really happens to us as adults. And I was looking at pictures of my kids when they were babies and then toddlers and then elementary school and middle school. My youngest now is a junior in high school. Next year, he's going to be a senior. And to me, he, he we just brought him in this world yesterday. And time seems to be going so fast. And it's like, did I really appreciate those times where there's pictures of us at at Legoland and Disney World and at the park and looking at it now I'm like wow what joyous and happy times but I remember that day and I remember at that moment I wasn't thinking of being happy and joyous I was man how am I gonna pay the bills next week and is this is this business meeting going to go according to plan so that I will be able to do what I need to do next month? I'm not happy with where I'm at. I'm trying to get here. I'm trying to get and I, and I remember those thoughts. And since I was so much in those thoughts, I didn't fully appreciate the moment that it's me and my son in the park. Not how much longer are we going to be at this park so I can get back home and go to work. That was kind of my mind the time. You know, a picture can capture the moment. But it doesn't really capture your feeling. Only you know what your feeling was at that time. And, and I wish I could go back in time. And even when things seem to be at its worst. When, when things seem to not be going according to plan to still appreciate the moment, to cherish the moment. Now someone says, Brandon, why are you sitting in the dark? Uh, I'm in the lab, this, this is, I'm working. <laughs> I just took a break. I finished up um, a lesson right now that I was, I'm was i drawing up uh, and I'm working on Metaverse 2.0 and I just finished up, what, what was the last one I just did a, a topic um, was Metaverse and Real Estate. That's the one I just finished up. And so while I'm taking a break before I move on to the next one, which is going to be, uh, what's the next lesson? Metaverse and Education. Oh. Oh, yes. I'm about to do that ed Education 2.0 because I did Education on the Metaverse 1.0. So, yeah, this is how I work. You know, you guys see me on live. I'll uh, put on a nice shirt. I got the lights on and everything. But most of the time, 
this is my environment and I have music playing and I have my TV well my TV's on right now and I'm, and I'm watching the news and or I'm watching a TV show or I'm binge watching something multitasking but I'm working so that's why I'm sitting here in the dark I'm just taking a break but um back on my train of thought so this Thanksgiving took a different meaning for me am I where I want to be yet and the answer is no am I making the type of money that I want to make yet and the answer is no have I reached my final destination do I still have a lot of work to do is there still a lot in my life I wish could be different the answer is yes but where I am right now is far better than where I was 10 years ago. If I can go back in time and look at where I would be in 10 years, I would be jumping for joy, knowing that that was a certainty where I am right now 10 years ago. 11 years ago, I walked off my job and retired. I've made seven figures since then. But to be able to envision, well, I kind of did, but know that I'll be spending, you know, a night like tonight in my office, in my house, just chilling, looking like Captain Starship in here my, on the Enterprise, all my monitors, all my screens, my keyboard, just relaxing with a belly that's full. My family has been fed. We have a roof over our head, clothes on our back, money in the bank. All the bills are paid. I got to re be mindful, be in the moment. And then someone said, well, Brandon, um, what if we ain't got it like that? What if the bills are not paid? My kids did not get all the food that uh, I think that they should, should get. They're hungry. I got debt on my back. I'm worried about next week. How can I be grateful for the moment when I'm not happy in the moment? In that situation, you use that as motivation to go to work. But at the same time, you still have to find the gratitude and the things that you can control and that you do have. Because the universe works like this. It works off a of vibration. I mean, I, I wish I had a lot of time to really go into detail on this. But it, it works on vibration. Oh, wait a minute. I do a, a broadcast once a year called um, The Secret. I only do it once a year. I do it at the end of the year. So that's, that's next month. So I will be going in detail about the laws of the universe and the secret. But I will share this. Everything is based on vibration. Everything. There is no such thing as positive or negative. Only what is. What's positive for one person could be negative to another person. The, the universe does not work in positives or in negatives. It just works on vibration. Now, what determines your vibration is how you feel. Because how you feel is how your body and your brain will be buzzing. It's like a buzzing sensation and you're sending off a vibration. You know, like vibe. Tribe Call Quest, check the vibe, y'all. The vibe. And your brain acts as a magnet. So whatever you're vibing to, however you're feeling, you attract that right back to you. So if you're in a situation where you're always feeling bad, you feel unproductive or negative or anything like that. That is the vibration you're putting out there. So the universe is giving you 
Not what you ask for, not what you speak. You know, they say, speak it into the universe. That's only partially correct. You got to believe what's coming out of your mouth. <laughs> All right. You got to believe it so that you vibe off of that. So the universe is only giving you what you want. You might subconsciously not even realize that you're vibing on this level. I, I, I Here's an example when I talk about being in the presence. I, I saw an old picture of my mother when she was five years old with her sister who was three with her father and my grandmother and then my great-grandmother. And then my mom said something very interesting. And she was like, oh yeah, oh, I remember that day. Not, not, a, not, a, not a happy person. And I was like, because she was trying to figure out, remember who took the photo. And she zoomed in on it. She said, look, and I looked at all the faces they weren't happy. <laughs> and I don't know, you know, I'm not going to go into details. My mom told me what happened, well, you know, what was going on. But even though it was the capture of the moment, they weren't happy in that moment. And it's just caused me to reflect a little bit. You know, always being mindful on my feelings, how I'm vibrating, what am I attracting back to myself. So for Thanksgiving, the law of thanksgiving is being thankful and showing gratitude and giving to others. The more you do that, the more it comes back to you. The more you are vibrating on thankfulness and gratitude for what you have, the more is going to come to you so that you can vibrate on that frequency. See, this is the one thing with people who study the secret, Bob Proctor, they think you think they know the laws of the universe. I, I go on social media and I see a lot of people talking about the secret or laws of the universe and law of attraction. Yet, in their own lives, none of that is actually coming true. And a lot of times they don't even know why. A lot of people who read the book The Secret and watched the movie and none of it worked for them. You know, thoughts are things. All I have to do is think it and, and, it, and it comes true. And it didn't work. It's because there is, there is a, it's like making a, like a turkey. <laughs> like cooking dinner. If you don't have the right ingredients in there, it's not gonna it's not gonna work. It's like you buy a Lamborghini but you don't put gas in it. All it's gonna do is sit there and look pretty in your driveway. There's a secret ingredient that is so simple that most people never get, even when they hear it. Like even right now. Because uh, I'm giving away the secret sauce right now. And if I have a thousand people hear what I'm about to say. Out of a thousand people, maybe two people will really get it. Everyone will hear it, but only a few will actually get it. Not only get it, but start to do things to make it work for them. Because it is statistics. You know, <laughs> it's only a certain percentage of the population achieves their wildest dreams and goals. There's a reason for that. It's not that they were lucky, born in the right family, even rich people be committing suicide. You know, it's more than that. You, you can't control what household you were born in, but you can control the destiny of your life once you become an adult by making certain decisions. But once you, I mean, let me tell you exactly the point when your life will begin to change. When you can find the things in your life right now that you can be grateful for, and I mean truly grateful, that 
If you're a Christian, you are thanking the Lord for what you have. And you feel it in your soul and you vibrate off of that gratitude. Like the laws of the universe, more is going to come to you so that you can keep that vibration going. But the moment you shift that and you start vibing off of what's wrong in your life, what's not working, things that are happening that, that you know you, you're pissed off about and whatever, things that you can't control, and your vibration starts to shift, the universe will respond to that and you will start to get that vibe that comes right back to you. And the most difficult thing for people is they say, how can I believe something I don't see? Even in Christianity, we say, you know, you need to have faith. S sight, that's not this sight, but sight. Different religions talk about it. Science talks about it. When you talk about the laws of the universe, whatever you want to call it, it's real. It's not some mumbo jumbo stuff. It's like gravity. Everything vibrates. My phone vibrates. My cup is vibrating. My desk is vibrating. We have to, it's like a force field around you that's vibrating. The day of Thanksgiving just puts it into the forefront that, yeah, okay, I think I should be thankful. So most people will be thankful for one day, and then Friday comes like today, and they go back to how they used to think and how they used to operate, and that vibration doesn't last. The key, if you've ever been to Tony Robbins' seminars, and I walked on fire with him, and the reason why he has been so successful out of all the other coaching gurus that came out of the Earl Nightingale School, including Jim Rohn and Les Brown and Bob Proctor, Zig Ziglar, the one who had the most success was Tony Robbins because his version of teaching the secret has to do with changing your physiology. I learned over the last 20 years by listening to all of these different coaches that they all are teaching the secret, but they're teaching it in different pieces. They have a focal point. Les Brown, motivation, inspiration. You know, the only problem with that, it doesn't last. It's like a pastor on a church Sunday. You go every Sunday to get your fix. And then by the end of the week, you're worn out, you're drained, so you got to get recharged, so you're back in Sunday and church on Sunday to get your fix again. It only lasts for a moment. Then you have Tony Robbins, who, who's figured out how to teach the secret in a way that most people can actually apply, which is by um, changing your physiology, changing how you feel. He doesn't talk about vibration too much. He's talking about how you feel. Because how you feel does change your vibration. So in an indirect way, you're doing it without him having to explain to you <laughs> why it works. Just by changing your physiology. Jim Rohn, his focus is on the mind. Because this is where the battery is. This is, this, this, this computer is what's sending out the code to the universe that you can't see that's coming attracting things back to you all of them is important but the ability to combine them together but the key is your vibration so instead of taking thanksgiving for just one day you take thanksgiving Every day, every day you chart out a time where you're just going to be in the moment, thankful and grateful for what you have and where you are at the moment. Because I can promise you this, there will always be somebody out there that would die to be in the position you're in, no matter how bad you think things are. And no matter how much you get, there's always going to be somebody else out there that you wish you had 
their lifestyle and the things that they have. Always. Thought it was funny, I was watching, I, was, I had binge watched Billions. And there's one billionaire there that's worth $10 billion. And he's used to getting his way until one day he ran into somebody who has more money and more power than him. And it was a humbling moment for him. It caused him to have self-reflection. <laughs> He's got more money and power than me. There's always somebody that has more and there's always somebody that will wish they had what you had. So all you need to do is be thankful and grateful of the present for the things you've been blessed with. And if you can't think of nothing, the fact that you woke up today and you're still breathing is cause to be thankful. Because that means you now have another day to keep moving forward to accomplish your, dream, your dreams and goals. I'm going to stop right there because I'm going to save the rest for when I actually do the secret talk on, at the end of the year. So that is my time out. I've been talking for almost 30 minutes. I need to get back to work. So with that, I wish all of you guys a happy Thanksgiving. Not for the turkey and the pilgrims, but use it as a moment for self-reflection and to be grateful and thankful for who you are, what you have, the people in your life. Capture that feeling of how it feels. Vibrate on that and try to vibrate on it for as long as you can so that you can send that signal out so that more will come to you. People be asking me all the time, Brandon, how do I get this? How do I do this, this and that? What secret do I need to do? And I'm like, I'm, I'm telling you. Don't focus on the task. Focus on the goal. That's, I got to pull that old video up again. Focus on the goal, not the task, but be mindful of the present and be thankful for where you are. Enjoy the journey. Life doesn't start once you reach your goals. You're doing life right now. Your ex life is about experience. Trials and tribulations, wins and losses, all of that is life. Life isn't about just the wins. The losses is teachable moments to help you to get better. Not to kill you off and, you know, try to keep you down and in check. That's another barrier for you to, to conquer. So I, I hope this makes sense. <laughs> and that I'm not turning into some old man that just rambles. I know a little something something. So with that, um, I hope you learned something new. As always, that's the point. And I'm getting right back to work. I will be doing Crypto Talk tomorrow morning. And I will also be doing a live watch party showcase of the VAR event that took place today uh, for our whole ignition for the month of November. So with that, enjoy your evening. I'm going to eat some more turkey later on. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bitcoin Brandon out. Bye bye. Oh, if I could figure out how I stop this. Oh, there it is.